This is Motion Mondays, an experiment we're doing here at School of Motion to see if you, lovely viewer, would like a video version of our extremely popular weekly newsletter. And today, we've got a lot of cool news to share. Dash Bash 2025 dates are set, an up and coming 3D software leaps from alpha to beta, and holy crap, some absolute legends in the motion design world have announced that they are returning. Let's dive in, shall we? So picture this, a bustling crowd, buzzing energy, and a ton of motion design magic in the air. That's right, friend, the Dash Bash 2025 is on the horizon, and it's coming to North Carolina from June 11th to 13th, 2025. So not this year, but next. Brought to you by the Wizards at Dash Studio and a bunch of great sponsors. We were actually a sponsor last year. This event has become a favorite conference for motion designers. And last year's event got rave reviews. So don't miss out on the action. Sign up for the Dash Bash newsletter to catch Catch those early bird tickets and exclusive updates. Move over traditional 3D software. Womp is here to change the game. This browser-based platform turns 3D modeling on its head, offering a unique sculpting experience that feels a little bit more like playing with digital clay than what you might be used to. Womp CEO Gabriela Truba announced that the app is moving from alpha to beta with a YouTube video showing off a bunch of new features and improvements. The upgrade promises enhanced rendering quality, a treasure trove of new shapes, think cones, toruses, pyramids, and a revamped user interface that is slick than ever, plus the ability to import external 3D models. If you're into pioneering ways to craft in 3D, Womp might just be your new playground. In a landmark move, the Biden administration is set to forgive over $6.1 billion in student loans for 317,000 borrowers who studied at the now defunct art institutes. This decision follows reports that the institution had misled students, promising successful careers that many found elusive. And this massive debt cancellation, I think, reflects a significant shift towards addressing the educational and financial crisis that many artists face. It's something we think a lot about at School of Motion, and maybe this is a sign that art students can be better served in other ways. Mothers of MoGraph is a vibrant new community spearheaded by the dynamic duo of Casey Smith and Jenny Davis. It's a haven for moms navigating the chaotic waters of motion design and parenting. This group not only offers support and camaraderie, but also recently launched an apparel line featuring super cool designs from industry artists. From trendy tees to adorable onesies for the little ones, supporting this initiative has never looked so good. So someone posted this in our Motion Mondays chat. Hyperbrew is a software and plugin design company and they have a tool called Webcam that integrates a live webcam feed directly into any Adobe application. While it's a niche tool, it's interesting, particularly for creators focused on tutorials or those who thrive on live feedback during the creative process. It's a small tool with potentially big implications for streamlining how we teach and learn digital arts online. I think it's really cool. Now, it's not all bright lights in the visual effects world. Dean Egg, known for its work on major films like Dune and Oppenheimer, is facing a tough phase. The company is reportedly laying off about 5% of its nearly 10,000 strong global workforce, with cuts heavily impacting R&D departments in the UK and Canada. This move is a response to ongoing market challenges post Hollywood strikes, and it marks a significant moment of change for the VFX industry, which let's be honest, has not had an easy time of it lately. Now here's something from my bald Israeli brother, Aaron Stern. In this in-depth YouTube video, he explores various tools and techniques for achieving 3D effects and After Effects. His comprehensive video offers a critical comparison of the native 3D system and popular plugins like Element, Geo, and Helium X, complete with render times and quality analysis. For After Effects artists, this breakdown is not just educational, but I think essential viewing to enhance your workflow. So, toda raba, Aaron. The creative asset universe is expanding as Shutterstock announces a whopping $245 million deal to acquire Envato, one of the largest libraries of creative tools and assets out there. With Envato's huge library and substantial subscriber base, this merger isn't just about business growth, it's set to transform the accessibility and quality of creative assets for artists. As these giants unite, maybe we're on the brink of entering a new era of streamlined, high quality design and production assets on demand. We'll see. And finally, big news. The digital design landscape is buzzing with the return 
of two advanced studios, led by pioneers Eric Jordan and Tony Novak. Known for their trailblazing work in Flash website design, their comeback promises to ignite the creative spirits of both veteran designers and newcomers. With a mission to empower the next generation with cutting edge assets and educational resources, their resurgence is one of the most anticipated events in the design community this year. And that is a wrap for today's Motion Mondays. Links to everything featured will be in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know. The motion, no. Anyway, I'll see you next week.